time because there is a shortage and we're running out of everything, including elastic, guys. The elastic that we use for the the mask, okay? And this is like the last that I have on like for my mask on this size. This is like a quarter inch. So again, I'm running out of this. And I wanted to kind of encourage like my designer friends, the ones that are actually um, making masks along with me and um, are panicking, all right? Don't panic, okay? Don't panic. Um, I'm not here to save the day, but I have some tips of what you can do during this time. All right, so the first thing, real quick, and it's like when you're creative, your mind is like going a thousand percent it's running it's just like running crazy and I've been trying to figure out ways to work around the shortage because I went everywhere and Joanne fabric is running out of things and yeah so we're kind of struggling as well trying to make these masks for you guys uh, in a timely manner so the first thing you want to do if this is you if you're running out um, get you a t-shirt okay a cotton t-shirt a blend or just cotton blend the one that stretch and I'm telling you guys this is gonna be a best friend a rotary cutter okay do not use scissors doing this use a rotary cutter because you want your lines to be really straight so I'm going to probably do like an inch I'm just going to cut it through straight through and I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm doing but you get the gist of it and this is what it's gonna look like, right? So all you're gonna do is pull it, all right? Just like this, and it's gonna look just like this, all right? And this you can use for the string or elastic band for the ears, the ears part. This is the number, my number one hack, all right? Now, the second one. So at Joy and Fabric, we are running out of the elastic bands. Like there's almost none. And if you do find any, it's like the thick one, just like this, okay? This is what we want, the quarter inch one, but this is what we're getting. So for me, what I've been doing, I've been cutting it with my rotary cutter. So of course you're gonna wanna measure it and then you, you run straight through it. Now, I would not use a scissor. Do not use scissors while doing this, okay? It's gonna be too hard. This is the time for us to work smart and not hard. So once you cut it, it does, I mean, you, it's not as straight as you can see I try to do. Let me get you one. It's not as great, but it comes out like this, okay? And sometimes it'll, it'll have the little part that comes out. Now, the one that you do want to get, if you're getting these, okay? If you get these, get the one that says braided elastic. This kind, all right? Now this one is a little bit too big, but I'm using that, all right? So get those, the one that says braided, because they, they unravel less than the ones that um, doesn't say braided. Now, the other one, the other way that I use, or would use, is that shoe. Okay, this is another idea. If you're running out of elastic, all right? And this is like, I mean, I think it's genius. I would use hair bands or elastic. Hair elastic, the one that you use to put your hair in a bun. Just use those, cut it in two, cut it in half, I mean, just like this, and sew it on, all right? Boom, just sew it on your mask and you, you're good. You're all right, guys, you're gonna be all right. If not, I mean, what the ones that I use is the bigger kind and I just cut it. This one probably will give me two, two or three, probably. That's what I will use. The other hack that I will use, the other elastic that I will use would be, of course, um, I was gonna say rubber bands, but don't use rubber bands. This will be like the worst case scenario. I mean, if we were like nothing left, I guess just use rubber bands, but you can't really sew it on because it could pop. Um, the other ones that, and this is stuff that I had around the house, okay? So I'm using all my supplies 
to do those masks. And these are things that I will use typically to make dresses, and I'm using this for this, okay? I'm using it to make those masks. So this I had, and I just found it today, and this was, what is it? Like what I would use for bra straps, okay? Now they're a little bit more ex on the expensive side, but you can use, now, for those that have like the, you know how they come in a little pouch like this? Hey, why not? Use it, okay? This is clear, I will use it, okay? If you're running out, use it. Um, now, in the trim um, section at, at the, what is it? At Joanne Fabric, they do have like really fancy, stretchy. Now, I did bought this one. I had this one a long time ago, but the only problem with this one, you see it has that little, groove in the middle. I try to cut it in the middle, but it just started unraveling just like this. So I would not use that. This was not a good idea. Okay. So don't use that. Now, if you don't have anything stretchy around the house, like I said, this is probably the best. Get your t-shirt that has, um, blend polyester or whatever stretch. Okay. Cotton stretch. And just do that technique that I just kind of demonstrated earlier on. Okay. You just pull it like this. We ain't got time to be sewing through it and try to make it look pretty. Just pull it through, work smart, not harder. Just pull it through and just do this, okay? And this is this video is really for my designer friends, but everybody can watch it if you are gonna be making masks. This this is what you probably will see in your mask, okay? Um, I mean, worst come to shove, if you have to really use anything else, you can always use strings. Those strings don't have any stretch. I know I've heard some people are using um, shoelaces, whatever it may be, okay? If you're using anything like this, any cords or whatever, just use those. Um, oh, sorry, guys. I was trying to show the table. They can, can you see my face now? Hey, Michael. All right, so you can use this. Um, hold on, y'all. So a lot of our, my designer friends are like, we're staying up all night making masks all night, guys. We're like, we're not sleeping. So I will use this, just regular cords. If you get one of those masks that has a cord, just tie it behind your head, okay? It's, it's not that we wanted to send you that, it's just that we're running out of the stretch elastic, all right? So just, you can use cords. Um, I heard that some people are using the, um, elastic that you make for like you make um the necklaces i think they're too thin for me and i think that it, it may cut behind your ears that's what i'm thinking I, I wouldn't put it behind my ears i haven't tried it tried it but i i don't i wouldn't use that um but hey if that's that's all you have left go to the arts and craft section and and joanne's and, and get what you can but um, yeah, but again, those are other ways that you can use, other things that you can use if you're running out of elastic, because we're all running out, there's almost nothing left. And um, you can go to the trim section. Yes, I am using any filter. This video is not about filters, but I will make another video on filters. If you, you can go, if you, um, well, since you asked for filters, the one that I have is a filter cloth that I use that, um, so my mask has three layers. So it does have um, the filter cloth that I bought like a long time ago, it's non-stick. And um, yeah, so it's three layers, the filter cloth the, um, is inside of it. Now I know I have some of my friends they're using, I know one of my friends she's gonna be using the medical grade um, filter. There's some other people using filters um, like coffee filters, whatever. But what I'm doing with my mask, you will have a slit in the middle on the inside and you can put additional protection, okay? Again, but this video is not about the filter. I will do another video about the mask and I'll show you how it looks. But right now it's really about the elastic, okay? Because I, like I said, there's a shortage. This is all I have left of the, the ones that I have <laughs> of this size. That's all I have left. And I have so much uh, things to do. But um, again, the first one I would go with is, again, the cotton blend um, t-shirt. Then everything else, 
Like I said, this is probably the best. Get the braided kind and start cutting. Just straight through, just cutting it straight through. You wanna measure it. You don't want your lines to be jagged. Just, just kind of try to go along. Again, you need to have a rotary cutter. You cannot do this with scissors. There's no way, no way possible. It, it's just too much work. It, it's just too much work and as stressful as this is, it, this is, you don't want to make your work even worse. But um, yes, I think that's all I wanted to do, guys. Um, again, I have few trims. You can use what you have. I mean, we got right now. We got to make something out of nothing. We don't have a choice. Is like we have to just make it work. Just make it work, guys. Don't panic. You're not by yourself. And this is for my designer friends or anybody sewing. You're not by yourself. If you need additional help, or I, I may, I do have few. I mean, I'll I'll give you some elastic if if comes to shove. If you don't have nothing, I will just inbox me, and um, we'll make it work. We'll make it work, guys. And so. Yes, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have anything around the house that you think may work. Um, I think the other great idea was the elastic bands, a hair, hair elastic that you use. You can just cut them in half and make that as a as an elastic band for the, for the mask. I mean, we're trying to make things work, y'all. I'm just trying to figure out what you guys are doing. If you guys want to share anything else, but I think what I have so far, I think that, that will work. Um, that's it for that, guys. So thank you for watching. And again, just comment below if you have or are using something totally different. But don't panic if you need me to give you some tips or whatever. Just inbox me and we'll make it work, okay? All right, guys. We're going to make this work. Bye.